Hey guys, and welcome back to The Way, the puzzling platformer extravaganza where my dead wife, also my crewmate, and myself are trying to get our way onto this spaceship here. Now, the reason I want to bring my dead wife into this spaceship and stick her in stasis, I would assume, is because once upon a time I heard rumor that there was a fountain of immortality on a planet that we had previously landed on. So with the death death of my wife, I've decided that I am going to bring her to this place. One little problem, the company do not want me to have this spaceship, so I've had to go around, blow up some robots, try and steal some stuff. Uh, and the one thing I'm trying to figure out how to do now is how to get into this capacitor bank here. I can come along to the traffic control tower because in here, the console, we tried to do this once, but I didn't quite read it properly. I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, I have changed my control method today. We are playing today on the controller, not on the keyboard and mouse. The game isn't specifically set up for the controller, but it, it's just about set up right with the you know steam control and mouse control and stuff like that we're gonna access a code no that was how i went backwards man we're gonna access a code <laughs> okay we want the base code now this base code was actually the fourth one if you remember down on the bottom left of the map there was a series of data ca cabinets where we got a whole load of uh, codes from and it turns out that whilst i had come in and put all these codes in before i'd put them in the wrong way round so that was Hey, about it. he asked me for a different one that time. Let's start again, shall we? Let's start again. So we enter the code, and this time it's asking for the base code. Now, the base code is 8E. We can do that easy enough. Okay, then we get on want to enter the operational code, which is 5T. The radio code is 5H. And the liftoff code is OW. Granted for takeoff. Awesome. Now, one of the good things about playing on the controller is my journal's right here. So we can have a look. The, the preparing the ship for departure is what we're on at the moment. We need to charge the ship's accumulators and open the departure gate. Now, opening the departure gate, not uh, all that difficult. What we did, we found yes, last time, not yesterday, day before, in fact, that if you come over here and press this, we can open the emergency hatch. The small problem with that is that we don't know how to get back. If I kind of drop down here, we're going to be in a whole lot of trouble. So that's not the way that's going to work. We need to try and figure out how to get to the accumulators, the capacitors on the left-hand side here. I assume it's going to be going back down and trying to find my way back towards the truck that I left my dead wife in. I really wish I knew my dead wife's name so I could, so I could refer to her as something other than just my dead wife. I don't know. Uh, votes down in the comments, guys. What what should we call her? Sarah, Abigail. I don't know. There, there's there's many names to choose from. Let's try using this button. The button is red, though. It, it makes me feel some stuff's not going to work. Okay, so how do we get back up? There must be somewhere on this map. Let's have a look. Okay, do you reckon we can jump our way up here? I don't think we can. There's some capacitors. There's no cargo elevator anywhere. You would have thought getting over this would have been a relatively easy endeavor. But looking at this, this appears to be the way we need to do it. Was this something I needed to have done before we dropped down here? I hope not, because I don't know any way of getting back up. Let's try climbing on some stuff, shall we? Yes, let's. Uh, let's try... Oh, no, that's firing my gun. So we can't jump on the console. We can't reach up there. Okay, I think this is going to be one of the few times where I'm going to have to take a small cut as I figure it all out. These are the cabinets where I got the um, passwords from, so that's all good. Okay, so the only thing really left to try is opening this up and seeing if we can, I don't know, jump down or something. This is death. So what are we supposed to do? I literally can't find any way of getting up and round. Let's go and try the... Um, <laughs> the accumulator control panel. That, that's the only thing left that we can absolutely play with. I've been going around literally just testing every little theory I can come up with about how to get inside those capacitor banks, and it's not been great. I've got to say, I've tried activating the button for the cargo lift, I've tried jumping over walls, climbing up on top of buildings, it's, it's just not working anywhere. So maybe somewhere over here, I'm thinking maybe on this console here, uh, charge? 
let's do that. Emerging levels and surface capacitors are not equal. Please contact tech support so they can balance the energy using the remote battery. Using the remote battery. What remote battery? Okay, let's try and do something. Maybe we can get a battery down. Uh, here's the capacitor states. Okay, these all need to be balanced. Literally, this one needs to just empty into that one. Okay, so that's that's not a thing we can play with right now. What about this one over here? Is this console for anything? Let's try the lift. Cargo elevator active. There, that's the one we were looking for. Okay, that's good. I wonder what the chain does then. Should we uh, try and have a look? Because we did the crane. Crane status up, chain status up. I'm not sure what the chain is supposed to be. Down. We'll try swapping that and see what happens. So there goes... A, a ladder of some description. Who knows what that is for? Uh, we will go and find out. Maybe that's this one? Uh, there is an up there. There we go. Okay, so that's for opening the hatch. We do not want to do that quite yet. We will come back to that. That has solved one of the issues that we had. Of course, that being the fact that once the emergency hatch is open, we've got a gulf of void space to try and get over. And that ladder means that we don't actually have to try and get over that. We can just get around. Oh, fell down the vent hatch. You can see I even went back and tried to have a look inside those areas. In fact, what I'm going to do... No, I'm just going to leave it. I was going to swap that over to make the generator open again. But that's fine. Am I about to get crushed? Let's go hide in here, see what happens. I can't see up at all. So there is my glorious wife inside my company van. I'm not married to the van. Uh, that That's not what I'm trying to uh, imply there. I'm uh, having a look at these hubcaps. They seem a little weird. Do you reckon this is some sort of indicator as to how much grip is left? Oh, hey there, dude. How you doing? Oh, that's not a... Ha! <laughs> Lols. So we've got to try and get close enough to open this without getting triggered triggered bra just like that brilliant now is this guy going to be easy to shoot or is he going to be difficult to shoot he's going to be easy once he gets up and out of the way yeah okay so here are the oh batteries let's press e and see what it does uh, it's a push okay we can push let's try that this side if we can go yeah okay i remember these sort of games where you just have to end up pushing sprites around the map all the time can we get this outside am i going to just be able to push it past that door who knows in this crazy future sci-fi world what is actually going to happen um oh this is going to be awkward actually can we get a grip on that without pressing the button again? Yes. Yes, we can. Oh, I thought that was going to be super inconvenient. Uh, that was not the button I wanted. This is pow. Double shot. Yeah, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. Okay, we got that going. We need to take two out of this internal one, uh, this number two, two out of two, and put the two into three. This should be nice and easy. So we do that. Uh, I think we're going to want the button down. Does that make sense, button down? Oh, it's giving me three. Okay. Okay, we can do it. This, so this is going to be one of these weird having to do it in a certain way scenarios. If I put this in here, what, what happens? I mean, they're not even close to balance now. So we've got to try and get the extra one off of here. But how are we going to do so? I've got a feeling it's going to be taking a couple off of this trying to put it onto this one that will leave an extra one okay let's try it let's try it we're gonna pull this out of here no not like this we're gonna pull this out we're gonna bring it all the way over if we don't let go of the button we'll bring it all the way over okay i'm gonna go over to number one gonna try and empty it all out we're gonna do this sort of on the fly from the pit of my stomach but seat of my pants that sort of thing we could sit down and i could try and figure it all out and come back to you guys with a concise plan but that that doesn't sound like much fun does it surely it's much better just to muck around and try and get these right any way you can in fact i've already figured out what's going to happen so when i put this one in here it's going to leave a one uh behind Okay, yeah, that's good. We take the one from here and we put it into number two. That might leaves it at number four, meaning that this one is perfectly done. Okay, we don't want to touch anything now. Now, of course, the battery has three holdings in it. And if you look at number one, it only has one in there. Put that in. Take down the three. I am so glad this went a lot better. I could have quite easily seen this ending up as a serious jump cut. But no, we t we did it okay. Thanks, guys. You you were here for me. We, we got it together. We figured it all out. I'm sure you guys saw it almost instantly what needed to be done. And you psychically sent all your thoughts back in time. 
to uh, to help me through. Okay, so that's all good. We now need to go and get my ship off of the floor, or at least lift it up a little bit. Uh, that button, please. Every time it says button, I think I'm close enough to use, but if you know that my exclamation mark isn't actually active, you've got to get just a little bit closer. So if I seem like I'm just standing around next to a button going, oh, why isn't this working? It's because of that. Uh, so like that. There we go. Brilliant. We just got to drop down and go over and have a look at the spacecraft now. Of course, a little bit of caffeine does help as well. I'm just going to carry on running over this way. Who put this vent natch open? We're going to have to see if we can close that before we bring the uh, truck along. Maybe we should have brought the truck along this time, actually. Would have saved us a little bit of running back and forth in a bit, but it's all good. I'm going to now grab this one and go all the way up to the top and open the hatch. Yeah, definitely should have brought the truck, but that's no, no biggie. No massive problem. No skin off my nose. Okay, we're going to be able to climb up onto here. Now, how are we going to get back down here? Ah, uh, okay, I see the problem. We were supposed to have it open from the outside. This is cool. This is the learning process in action, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know that that was the case. I probably could have guessed it. <laughs> All right, this time we get to bring the truck along with us. Okay, the full damage is very close to real life here. I mean, like, I could probably drop twice my body height. I wouldn't like to try and drop any further than that. Okay, let's try and bring this down. Can I get inside the company lorry here? We can't. We're going to have to wait for it to get to the bottom. That's fine. Can we jump on top of it? This is another question. Would it be nice if there's some sort of access way or ladder or something on the side? Let's get inside and drop. Ooh, I'm not in control. It's driving it all on its own, which is a little bit of a shame. I would have preferred to, to control it myself. I know it would only be just a little bit down a down a corridor, but that would have been fine for me. Yeah, just get on the floor. Go on. You, you crawl around. See if I care. All right, we need to climb this one. We've done everything that I think we need to do to get this ship up and running. Let's just double check. Charge the ship's accumulators. We didn't do that. We just balanced the charge. That's okay, though. We can definitely take care of that on the way back down. In fact, when we use the ladder, it will put us on the correct side for doing so. Yeah, look at this. Brilliant. See, all you have to do is go around and trigger everything in the right order, and everything will be done properly. You just have to find the bits that, that are missing. The bits that you hadn't actually... Oh, whoa. oh yeah, I can do that. Okay, that's good. That's good. A drop drop and grab. Uh, I wouldn't like to try and do it from the very top to the very bottom. I suppose, you know, that's a new sport to be doing uh, on, the, on the order of base jumping. Okay, so let's charge them. Accumulators charge. Display the state. Everything is good. Yeah. Okay, so somewhere up here, we should be able to... In fact, we've done all these now, haven't we? Chain up, uh, cargo elevator active. Okay, yeah, no, I think I think we're all good. I think we're all good. We might need to use the crane. We might not, but what I need to do now is get my girlfriend off the ship or onto the ship. How do we do this? Company lorry. Uh, let's just try pressing up and see what happens. Does this bring my girlfriend on board? No, no. Hey, DNA, how are you doing? Hello, Tom. Hi, DNA ship status. No, DNA. Ship status, please. Ship is ready to fly. All right, cool. How do I get my girlfriend in here, though? Let's have a look at this. Like, this is the old team. We had a look at this last time. I guess in this is science officer, uh, mainly because of glasses, and I'm prejudiced like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's just keep moving. <laughs> so we got the company van little logo bit here, but how do I get her out of here? Um, would have thought... Oh, hey. I must have pressed up at, the set, at some time. Uh, do you reckon the console is actually the one that we want? Let's let's try that. Let's go all the way up to the front. Can we do takeoff? Oh, I can jump in. That's nice. But is my girlfriend going to get put in? There she is. Yeah. All right. Sweet. This is good. Are we going on an unplanned mission? You bet your uh, digital constructed ass we are. Affirmative. All right. Let's do this. We're going to the last place we went to or something like that. Oh yeah, yellow engines, love it. Look at those thrust thrust vents. Amazing. Whoosh. So obviously we have left Earth long behind. This planet looks incredibly crazy. We need to enter the temple of life. We can have a quick look round before I finish up here. Find the <laughs> hidden entrance. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Oh, thank you for the flight. Have a nice day. Yeah, DNA, whatever, man. Whatever. 
Uh, can I do anything with my girlfriend right now? I can get on my knees in front of her. Not quite what I actually really wanted to do. Let's run around outside and have a look. I can't believe I'm back here all by myself. This planet is mostly a big desert. There's a lot of water in the background. This spot, only this spot is lush with life. But it's still dangerous as well. I'd better be careful on my way to the temple. Okay. Let's see what's that. Oh, oh. Who are you? What are you doing here? Mem memory remains. Let let's do it, shall we? Let's, let's hit those painful feels. Darling? Darling, what are you doing over here? Sit down, watch the sunset. A few birds fly around, waterfalls in the background, beautiful skies. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, she's dead. All right, well, that was her. That was her. Collected one out of seven memories. Let's go down. Uh, let's not go down. Let's carry on walking across. Let, let's see what we can do across this way. What is this? Wow, what, what what do they do with this? Put put lights in it? Must be. Must be. Can I jump? I can jump. Can I jump off the air? Ooh. Hey, do you, like, do you like my dance moves? Let's try that again. Where is it? Ow, get down, yeah. Funky. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, yeah, so obviously we need to go the way of the stairs here. Nice little landing pad, really, if you think about it. Oh, back and forth, back and forth. Get the directions done right. Okay, so there's an up, there's a down. Oh, there is a problem. You want some? Oh, the ground's in the way. That That's also a problem. Uh, yeah, come at me like that. How dare you? How dare you? This looks decidedly sketchy. Do we shoot one? No, we can't shoot one. Okay, that's fine. That's totally, totally fine. I'm sure we're going to find all sorts of things to worry about on on this planet. Oh, this guy dodges. He's got some. He's got some moves. He's got the jukes. He's got the jukes. Is this our way back up? Oh, no, let's try it. Let's try it. Who who knows what we find? There is a document up there, so we're going to jump. Jump a little higher. Jump, jump until you get tired. What's on there? DNA, one out of two. As suspected, all life forms are based on DNA. However, they have very structured genetic code which quickly adapts to new conditions. Better than modifications we have made on Earth. We'll collect more samples tomorrow. Well, that's nice of them, isn't it? Uh, do, I, do I take it? Is that... Is it now part of my, my equipment? Uh, can we get up here this way? I mean, this is just going back the way we came. We, we don't want to do this. Let's... Let's shimmy our way back and forth, see what's going on. Oh, look, there's more stuff down here. Is that a bit of shadow? I don't know. If we come all the way over here, grab that. Oh, please, get away from me. Hey, that's quite a quite an offensive action you've got on the go there. Let's get rid of that. I mean, can we do this guy as well? I mean, we're just knocking down for a bit. Uh, there is a way of jumping whilst crouched gets us down these floors. I remember this. Jump. We got told this right at the beginning. We got told this right at the beginning, so everything should be okay. Well, that was an interesting way back and forth. I do wonder what was further to the left here. Uh, let's go over this way. Oh, there's another document, but there was, like, more ground over that way. Uh, let's shoot him again. We can look at all this. Ooh, progress. One out of three. Tom translated some of the alien markings. It seems to be... So I'm Tom. My name's Tom. Uh, it seems to be some kind of religious writing, as mentioned, uh, and as it mentions eternal life quite often. Tom is hard at work as never before. We shouldn't have been concerned about his marriage colliding with our mission after all. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> all right, well, that was nice of you. Cheers. Thanks, chap. I want to go check that other place out before we wrap up for the day. If we can get up here. There was stuff to the left to go see, if I remember correctly. Let's come over here and just see if there is anything. Look, you see, there's a little ladder coming down here. So where does this go? Ooh, what is that? Is that a new form of alien life? Oh, it's literally just a dead end. Okay, let's try and make our way towards this temple of eternal life, at which point before we gain entry, I will wrap up. Guns, boom. Well, a little laser pistol. Oh, what's this? All right, mate. Take a chill, take a chill. We never found out the meaning of this. Uh, let, let's get out of the way. Hey, please. Let's get out of the way so the word symbol disappears. Hmm. It is definitely a symbol. Obviously, the circle represents the cyclic nature of life. Obviously. You know, maybe. Who knows? Uh, jump that way. Uh, no, I don't want to bother with you. Go away. 
these guys respawn. It's um a little unfortunate. Like these guys respawn. What what is this? What is this? Some sort of biogenesis like uh, planet. Well, it is the life of uh, the planet of eternal life, right? This this is something we figured out. There are a lot of things to shoot at here. Yep, I got them. Ah, no! <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Should be nice and easy. Just keep running and shooting, right? But unfortunately, you can't run and shoot at the same time. Yeah, you got you got to stop to do the shooting. Okay, there we go. That was easier. We're just going to take that out and walk away up here. Okay, fine. There appears to be a doorway here. The Mystic Triangle. Three. Three circles make a triangle. Illuminati confirmed. Triangular cavity. I'll show you my cavity. Not today. All right, let's get up here and see what's going on. Obviously, there's some sort of way into, like, an underground bit. Catacombs, maybe, down there. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to try and gain entry to this place that I seem to have started a cutscene for. It looks like a big gateway, but scanners say there's only solid rock behind. It's the eternal life symbol. Bye!